Hello and good evening. Welcome to the Alpha Las Vegas Open here in the Rio Hotel and Paul Suites run by Predator and CSI. Our next match for today is a cracking matchup, quarterfinal matchup between Shane Van Boning from the USA and Guo Quang Duong from Vietnam. In the commentary booth for this match is myself Tim de Ruiter and with me will be joining Christina Stateva. She'll be coming soon. So let's go. Shane van Boning won the leg and started the first rack. Yeah, another successful break. Yeah, unfortunately for Gwok, no shot after the break, so we'll have to push. He might push yeah, the 5 and the 7 together, or at least something difficult. Shane could go aggressive here if he wants to bank that one ball. It's a high reward. The two ball will be in the open for him. Yeah, he's called it. What a shot, what an opening shot. He has been playing very well so far, so expecting to be a cracker as a match. Ooh, almost missed that two ball. So, and now the extra commentator just arrived, Christina Slateva from Bulgaria. Welcome, Christina. Hi, everyone. Thank you, team. Yeah, I, I got lost in the casino a little bit <laughs> on my way here. <laughs> yeah, it is a big place. It is a big place. So what do you think here about this match? Well, to be honest, I haven't really seen the Vietnamese player a lot. But he's he's performing very well lately. I can finish fifth in the World Nine Ball, I think. I think so. I think he and also beat even Boning back there. Right? Maybe. Not sure about that. I do, I do remember something like that. So. I mean, he just beat Copy in the previous round, I think. So that's yeah. a very good win. He's absolutely capable of winning that match. We know that. Yeah, I've seen him play in Ohio and wasn't performing at his best. And now everybody's talking about him. So a little fortunate bump from Shane there on the 10 ball. Yeah, he, he likes to let his troll count. Right, but on these tables it's very dangerous cause, uh, because the cue ball bounces in, in a different way, especially with the clean balls and that uh, sliding cloth. He has to be careful with letting the cue ball go around too much. Yeah, it looks a little bit uncomfortable so far to me. Cue ball a little bit everywhere and also his facial expression doesn't really show confidence. But nonetheless, he's perfect on the nine and about to win the first rack here. Yes, we have a big crowd here for that match. Yeah, I, you can say that Shane, of course, is the, the crowd's favorite, like always. Wherever he goes, he draws a big crowd. Especially in the States. <laughs> yeah, especially in the States, right? Um, but then also, from Vietnam, I heard that it's one of the top three countries in the world that are checking out our website, the Pro B Series website at the moment. It's oh, Vietnam is in the top three. You know, they have so many players it, in the women's tournament as well. I played the Vietnamese the first round. And they, they have le at least two or three more. Just, they're a big team here. Yeah, so I think their country is really trying to support the players and I think it's really cool. So hopefully everybody likes to watch this match with us. Playing two, uh, three races to four, so best of three sets. And if we tie three each in the deciding set, we'll go to a shootout. So Shane Nutt, too spectacular on the first break. Let's see what he can do. 
just hitting them as hard as he can, which is very hard <laughs> by yeah. the standards. <laughs> and yeah, he sh he must be very unlucky not to make a bone to break with his his break. Look at the cue ball. Yeah, but just I also figured out during the week that it doesn't really matter how good that cue ball sometimes looks. Like there is, I have seen difference in the breaks. He also really knows how to get the balls moving, so a lot of speed involved. Just timing is really good. Oh yeah, absolutely, and of course, he normally he wants to control the the one ball, but on with the hand dragged, uh, you know, yeah, when the balls are hand dragged, then he really he just wants to be sure to make ball on the break. Yeah, all in. Yeah, and that's what he just played on the one ball as well. Two ball opened up very good for him and a good bump on the six. Yeah, we've seen some really good stuff so far already from Shane van Boning, especially yesterday when I was watching his match against Jeremy Seaman. They did go to a shootout, but at parts Shane was playing really good making okay. two or three balls on the break and he would just get out from everywhere so yeah he looks very determined yeah that's look, for sure it looks like he's on a mission yeah and actually he he hasn't played too many predator events with this format because he didn't like the shootout but now that they have the third rock, yeah, the, the, the third set, yeah, yeah, the, the third set. Sorry, uh, they have the third set. He's, uh, I guess, he decided to sign on. I remember he told me that he did like everything to be decided in a shootout with, with the high-level players. But uh, now it's different. Yeah, and then even though if he doesn't like it, he still made four out of four yesterday against Jeremy Seaman. So I guess he agrees to it now and. It's good to have him here, of course. I mean, he's uh, one of the best players in the world, so we'd love to see him more at the Pro Beard Series events. Oh yeah, for sure. I'm actually surprised that even with that new format, there are still quite a few shootouts. So they still go to 3-3 in the last set. That's... Well, I also think it's That's because crazy. the pressure gets really high. Like when they go one each, like one each set, then they feel like, oh, this is really important. It's only a short race, and then I think p players start to struggle from there. Yeah, yeah, they they just adapt to the new format. Yeah, I think it will be better the longer we keep doing this, though. So the oh, almost made a six, hit two points and got out, and no ball on the break. If you look at the six here. Yeah, tough opener, I think so. Not easy to get from the one to the two. Yeah, it's not too bad though. He can just go to the middle of the table and then he's all right. Unless uh, oh. maybe the four ball or maybe butters. Yeah, I yeah. thought he had to go around the mm. eight, but yeah, because especially at that table, he couldn't really use the inside to hold the cue ball. Yeah, to he wouldn't grab off the rail. And now I think his only option is cutting this in the side. Do you think he can also? Oh no, maybe the nine is on the way. Yeah, that would be the harder shot. Well, and, go cut, the corner. Cu and cutting it in the side is guaranteed to give him a good angle on the three yeah, to sure. go back up for the four. Oh, it looks he a little thin. Oh, yeah. cut it. And he left it perfect for Shane. There are the Vietnamese supporters behind him. Yeah, great to see that such a big crowd turns up every time we have these matches on the TV tables. I love to be playing with the big crowd. Oh Do yeah, we, there, there are so many bar tables. I don't know, 300 maybe, that's what I heard. Yeah, more than 340, I think. Wow. Yeah. 
So yeah, all these people are really enjoying the event too and come and watch all the matches. Yeah, there is over 7,000 league players in this building right now. Of wow. course they want to have a oh, wow. little look at their favorite player. Oh, that's great. So playing low right to the center of the table. In case he hits it too firm, he'll still be okay on the five. Didn't really stun the cue ball though. Expected him to take a different route and got a little short on the five. Yeah, he thought he was going to play the five in the corner. Maybe. Yeah. But nothing he can manage. Yeah, so that looks a little bit hard, but he'll still be okay. Oh, maybe perfect to yeah. drop down for the short side of the seven. Doesn't want to be on the high side from the seven. Could be a little annoying with the tempo underneath, but he's got perfect. Looks like he's got the speed down now. Just the first wreck was a little. Yeah, he looks quite. He looks comfortable. Yeah, first wreck he looked a little bit shaky because he was bumping some balls, but now it looks like. He's not even wasting any time. Like And this stem ball to get on the hill already. I've not been playing for too long, only 12 minutes and we'll go for a short one minute break. We'll be right back. Welcome back here, the Alpha Las Vegas Open. Shane Van Boning to break in rack number four. He's leading 3-0 already. Yeah, Shane's oh. on the hill. It oh, that five ball hung up oh. on him. And also yeah. that seven ball did not want to really go in there. A few ball tried the pocket, but not any luck. Did not really leave much, even if the Vietnamese wants to cut in the one, then still not guaranteed to be nice on the two. Yeah, because it's frozen, oh. so the cut was easier than. Well, he managed like. to get position, but okay. yeah, he got close, close to be scratching, which. Yeah, which didn't seem so possible. Like the six ball was on the way, kind of. But yeah, he, he played good speed there. So two, seven, nice control on the two ball. And now should be ready to get the first game on the board because yeah, I think Shane will only get more comfortable if he gets a little bit more room every time. Yeah, and Duong got, uh, got a nice uh, Touch there. The, the two ball touched the point, and that's why he he held it for for the side pocket. Otherwise, he would be would have been in trouble. Yeah, not really looking nervous, but he has been letting Shane go a little bit here and there. So wonder if that's just still adjusting to the table or 
Yeah, they've also been playing uh, quite a few matches today, right? I think that's their third or fourth match. Uh, yeah, I think from the last 32, I think. So this could be his third match for today. Maybe a little low in energy. Yeah, it's, uh, it's possible to make a few unforced errors. Center of the table here. Wipe its feet, just okay, and a small angle on the nine to leave the ten in the side. Yes, his cue ball control is pretty good this rack, so even with the hard one and two, yeah, he managed to, to run out. To put some pressure on Shane. And we'll see how is going to break soon because if he can get some breaks going then there is no reason to say why he could not win this set anymore yeah absolutely it's a short short race <laughs> that's that's the exciting thing you never know what's gonna happen you know 3 zero doesn't mean anything in this format Big crowd here. All pool fans from all over the world came here for the BSA, BCA World Championships. Shane doesn't really look too bothered with it. Doesn't mind the big crowd. No, he's absolutely used to yeah, the big he's crowd. He's got a lot of experience too, playing in front so of big much. crowds. Breaking from the side. And looks like it's going to come up dry. And is he going to leave a shot on the one? Yes, he does. Yes, because of that seven ball. Any difficulties here? Well, as long as he can manage just to get a good angle for the two ball, the only problem would be the five ball too, because it's he got yeah he got he got an angle. He's not completely straight. He can always draw back, but yeah that that's tricky layout because many balls don't go to. I mean, have their pockets blocked. I'm not sure about the three ball. Does he go, does it go past the six? Can't really tell. Probably oh, it does. It looks with the angle he has. He could maybe position next to the seven and Perfect. shoot the three in the bottom right corner in this view. Yes. And but then just wondering what is the plan with the five ball? Yeah, one thing I would... Like, my plan here would be if I get good angle on the four ball, I can shoot the five in the side off the nine ball unless unless he gets a really good angle to get on the five and he trusts the speed he has a small window there he can try oh okay so first thing he has to make the three ball because he landed in a bit, bit more court angle two rails now he's got a good angle is he maybe able to use the short rail to go into the five not really sure if the five of the nine goes, as the nine ball looks to be a little bit higher than the five. Could always opt to play a safety behind the seven, yeah, but then you know it's always nicer to run out by yourself and gain that momentum instead of yeah. giving the other guy a chance to be lucky. Absolutely, if you can just uh, not let the opponent go there. Yeah, well that's. Probably gonna play. Yeah, he's probably gonna play safety there. 
He can play the other shot, but it's so risky. A little roll up on the seven. Just one reel. Yeah, good kill ball control though. I don't think Kwok Wong can use one reel. Maybe one reel with a lot of left spin, but I think this seven ball is blocking quite a bit. Yes, he almost throws the kill ball to the seven, so that makes the shot, the kick, so much harder. Extension, please. Oh, extension. We're also playing with a 30 second shot clock here. Yeah. Both players get one extension per rack, of course, but gotta make up your mind fast. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he can play the fireball. He even. Oh, uh, and he just caught it from the back, so no real after contact. Just a hair short. So, Start Shane. Clock, managed to get ball in hand to to get the first set going uh, for him. And on the other table, table two, we have Chang Yun Lin playing the current defending champion, Viktor Zielinski. That's also a great match. Also a great match for great sure. Match. I love, really love watching these two players. doesn't really look like Shane is going to make any more mistakes this set. And this temple to Cleans the first set. Shane Van Boning is up one set over Guok Wang. Yeah, great performance from Shane. <laughs> we'll go for a couple highlights from day two and we'll be right back. Shot this is. There's a highlight shot. Brilliant if I ever shot. saw one. Brilliant shot from Roland Garcia. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Well, this is a class in kicking from these two and jumping and positional play. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Well played. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. No, Kubo, he's all right, and he's got a shot on the two. Great shot again with that jump stick. And welcome back to the Alpha Las Vegas Open here. The first quarterfinal match. Kwok Huang to break in the second set. Shane Van Boning started off in the first set, so he gets the break in set number two. Still breaking from the side rail. Yeah, crushed it a lot more than the previous break, and he's made a ball with position on the one. Yeah, he was trying to cut the one ball in the side pocket, but the eight ball kind of got in the way. I think the one ball was going, but but then the eight ball just hit it. Yeah, good but he call. still got lucky with uh, with the four ball. Yeah, yeah that's actually Qu a very good layout. Yeah, quite good layout indeed. Just one good shot on the one. Oh, oh quite unexpected. Yeah, there's only one good shot needed. Yeah, probably missed it because of the side spin but still he should he should have been yeah adapted already to the conditions he's played uh, for a few days in this case Shane van Boning 
He's going to be on the roll at some point. He's marching around the table, Captain America. Yeah, absolutely. You don't want to, yeah, you don't want to make unforced errors against Shane, especially when he's on a roll like that. He looks so confident and comfortable with the table already. A little short on the seven, might have to just stop the cue ball and leave a decent angle on the eight to go to the nine. Yeah, which is fine. Yeah, which is okay. It's just always nice to be so close to your next shot. That's why he was looking so disturbed. Stun run through and the stem ball to take another lead in this match. <laughs> yeah, just one missed opportunity by Guo Kuang and he's already down 1-0. Oh well, yeah, you know, at this level you, you don't really need more than that. He knows, yeah, he knows he can afford to make these kind of mistakes. Especially in this format, could be very costly. Could be a couple more games. Absolutely, just no. If Shane, if Shane just makes a ball on the break, two or three racks in a row, and then Huang may never play again. It's winner's break, so you never know when it's your next shot is gonna be. Let's see what he does. I think he went a little bit more to the inside. He really felt this was the spot. You could see him really trying to feel. Another big squat. No ball going in. Hasn't left a shot though, so could always be worse than this. Five ball straight on the point there. Yeah, he's hitting them great, but uh, just being Unlucky. Yeah, just the balls going to the sides, they just do yeah. not really get there. Yeah, it's hard to leave a perfect track. Uh, have you seen Shane breaking from the side? Any point in that tournament? No, I no, really I think he matches. just, he's been doing the same thing so far I know. Good safety shot here from Guac Wong. Here I'll just jump, try to maybe bank the one ball in the corner pocket and get safe behind the like the eight, four, nine. They were. Yeah, it's called it in the left corner pocket and guaranteeing distance if he doesn't make it. Yeah, he's got a lot of balls to hide behind. Yeah, and it worked out really good for him. There is a good safety return on the next shot though. I think the Vietnamese player can go two rails here. A short rail, and then long rail and kick the one ball down behind the five balls. Walk one. Yes, he's called the one ball on the side or he wants to hit it directly. I don't, I'm not sure if he had that angle you were saying. Yeah, I was maybe thinking maybe to mess a little bit because yeah. if he could have bumped it along the rail, of yeah. course we're having clean balls and slidey cloth, so maybe it was a little bit too difficult. Well, he might be in trouble after. Yeah, I think Shane's got the safety here. Yeah, 
smart rule. Oh no, world mate man. I'm not sure if it has that gap. Yeah, yeah. there's a mini mess, eh? But then he's also not going to make the one, so at the speed he's messaying, he's most likely to leave the one in the open. Okay. He's looking at Just jumping jump over the small the edge. edge. Yeah. yeah. That's a tricky shot, especially on the slippery cloth. Oh, wow. lovely. Great oh. Shot. Such a good shot. And in the Probeit series, early 10 balls are allowed, so he could play for the 2 10 combo if he really wants to make something happen. Okay. Yeah, he did call the 10 ball. It's not an easy, it's definitely not an easy shot. So far away from the pocket. Oh, he just speared it in. Yeah. <laughs> he hit it with confidence. He went all in. And with the cubo on the rail, that was a great shot. A couple of great shots to get his first game on the board here and really needs to get going. He's been breaking from the side. Do you see him maybe move to the center of the table because his results are not great or? I don't really know because Shane's results are not very good from the center of the table either and, and Shane's break is great. Yeah, we'll see, just, maybe yeah. she's just, he's just sticking to what he was doing. Yeah, looks like it. At least if you don't make a ball on the break, there's a higher percentage to leave a difficult layout if you break from the side. You know, just most of the time all the balls go to one side of the, of the table. Square hit makes the three and yeah makes the second ball on the side. Yeah. <laughs> the break. And now, and now the balls are <laughs> on the side of the table where he broke from. I'm wondering. He does have the cut on the one, but can he really get on the two? Yeah, or he can just play safety now and uh, try to leave it very hard for Shane. Is he going two rails around the five ball and trying to get close to the two? One rail, two rails, and he can still play the safety, I think. A couple different shots he can play. Yes, the seven ball is on the way a little bit. Play the cue ball behind the ten ball. Thin. Yes, or he can go with the cue ball behind the five, six, and nine. Also, he has the window. Yeah, three rails around it. That's what he's playing. He has a like bigger chance of, you know, of not missing that shot. Actually, he did that. That's off, but he left, he left the edge. Oh, he really had such a big edge. area to, yeah. to leave the cue ball. Well, even if Shane cannot see the edge, he could go to the short rail and come back. Cue ball could go in the side. Oh, he could, oh, that cue ball. Yeah, he didn't want to, yeah, he, he didn't want to hit the short rail there. Yeah, I didn't Maybe. expect him to go for this small little edge this was I don't know if he tough. was trying to, to nudge just nudge the tempo or because he couldn't go around it yeah I'm not sure did he leave the angle to go <coughs> to look to me the that he had five? To me, he had a little bit more angle than he would have liked to have. 
Yeah, he could have done better with this shot. Oh, for ball in hand, yes. Yeah. So oh, now yeah. he has to, now he has to find that small window behind the eight <laughs> and the six ball. Oh. And he's he's been under hitting most of the shots for some reason. You know, uh, I know that normally when you're under pressure, you may still make the balls, but the your speed is uh, speed control gets worse. Normally you under hit the balls. So maybe there are just small signs of pressure from one. So jump cue here. Wow. Makes another good jump, but what is what's he going to get on the six? And that is yeah. not really great news for Come him. <laughs> Don't leave your jump cue yet. Okay. Oh, and he jumped over the six ball after making the five ball. Oh, and he has now called the six ball. Look at how close he is to the ten. Oh, wow. look at the oh. <laughs> well, that would have been genius. Oh yeah, because the scratch was possible also there. He just had to draw the ball a little bit. He got perfect position for the 7-2. Wow, that's a great shot. Damn. He just missed the thing because the cue ball was bouncing still and just didn't, didn't have full Catch contact the full ball, with the yeah. Yeah, with the six. Didn't leave it too easy, so it was still a good shot. Yeah, Shane might have to play two rails. Low right to the center of the table. Hey. Oh, kind of lucky not to leave something easier than this. Yes, he actually played looks like he played no spin or maybe a little bit of outside spin but he still he still hit it uh, thin which is uh, weird but normally if it the deflection is more you hit it uh, thicker maybe he overcompensated oh wow. he went for the side and found the point of the side pocket as well did he leave a cut on the side as well I think he did. Shane can play this with left spin, which will throw the six ball more to the pocket. Just has to risk it. Yes. Uh, the cue ball yeah, going. he just I think he just took the risk. And didn't really get ideal on the seven. I think if he might make this in the side, oh yeah, on the eight the will be very tough. With the cue ball on the rail, he will and he, yeah, he has to hit it hard to to come back off the top rail. But he decided to hold it. That makes the shot so much harder. Also, when you, hit it, when you play soft from the rail. Yeah, it's very difficult, and we would have not expected this to go so much back and forth. But oh yeah, they've been they, they made some mistakes in this rack. Now, all through the match, they've been quite good, but so far, they've been starting to struggle a bit. Has to go a couple more rails again. Three rails around the 10 ball. Stem ball to take the 2 1 lead and to stay in the match. So, oh, finally, scores. he's uh, in the lead, even though so we'll go to a short interview with the panda Mario. He will be right back. I like the format and I don't like the format. It's like a hate and love, you know, because you don't want to go for a shootout, but you want to win. And sometimes you can't get away without playing the shootout. Um, but I won it once, so 
I feel capable to win again. Um, and I feel really great to be back here in USA because there is a big crowd. There are always people who are watching and it's just more fun to have spectators, especially a huge uh, crowd. And I'm really looking forward. And there's a new format as well for the final stage for the last 64. And I'm looking forward to play that because that gives you more zone not to play the shootout. And I'm looking forward for that. And we are back here with the Alpha Las Vegas Open. Quarter final matchup between Guo Kuang Duong and Shane Van Boning. Guo Kuang up 2 1. Breaking rack number four. He's up to one, even though he made maybe three and four her errors so far. He missed the one ball in the very first rack of this second set. Yeah, and he's missed the six ball, I think, in the last track as well. So. Yes, he pulled himself on the five ball, which led to the miss. Yeah, I think Shane's got his jump cue out. Knows with that two in the side pocket with the three next to it that he could set himself up very nicely in this rack. Yeah, he doesn't want to push out. Goes for it. And sets the cue ball towards all the balls here. Can you make that? Uh, it's quite hard. Maybe one nine eight combo. But the eight, the eight is it's pointing towards the, the rail a little bit. Yeah, so I might play the cue ball behind the yeah, five. Yeah, he's just gonna play the cue ball behind the five. Oh, five. did hit it a little thin. Expected him to catch a little thicker ball and then slowly get behind the five. Yes, he hit a little bit harder because now he left. Oh, he's already got his jump cue out. Yeah, he definitely didn't want to leave the jump option. Yeah, I was just looking at going two rails on this one ball. Kick it from the back. He hits it a little bit to the right side. There's a big chance the cue ball will get behind the eight, nine, or the five. Okay. Yes, and just just because of the the tables being so slippery, I, I've been having like trouble hit playing that two rail two rail shots when it's Ooh. got the other side of the close. one, but okay. it definitely worked out it. to him. Yeah. Close to the scratch, but cut away with it. Can still pin the one to the left long rail and get the cue ball on the same long rail. Just making sure the seven and the two are in between. I think he's done a good job here. Good shot. Yes, that's enough. Gonna try to kick it, maybe leave the cue ball behind the seven. Yeah, he, he didn't was have that. He didn't have that window, and yeah. he couldn't. I think he was trying to get the cue ball down to those balls. Just and hit the middle to D1. Yeah, just that one ball. Decided to follow the cue ball, and well, you know, sometimes it's not. It's maybe sounds really strange. Sometimes it's good to purposely give the other guy a shot on the one. Because it, it gets so lo low percentage sometimes to run out. I'd rather have someone else who start than right myself. Now, with the five ball there. Yeah, but you still want to have the control of the table though. Because you can always play some safeties uh, when you get to the problem area. <laughs> well. But, I mean, Wang has been making some mistakes, so in this case, you, you don't know. Yeah, of course, when you're playing good, you can always still go, but sometimes when you don't feel too great. Like if he wants to play safety on the five ball, he can easily go underneath it and then send the five ball away and open the eight ball at the same, with the same shot. 
Oh, he did leave himself off. some angle on the four. Can he still play with ins? No, he's trying to find the gap. Yeah, he was looking at leaving the cue ball on the other side of the five, of the four, sorry. But I guess uh, he underhit it again. Like you can see in this view, not a big gap between the six and the nine to be able to make the five. I think that needs to go. I don't think he's got that five ball. The good thing, he might still be able to play the kick and stick behind the five, eight, uh, five, nine, uh, yeah, unless, eight, nine. Yeah, unless the six ball is on the way, or he can play it off the, the top of it. Yeah, he's is kicking it? this with low, low left. Let's see what he gets. Just okay. like that, beautiful shot. Very nicely played. Touchy shot, yeah. gonna kick it off the top rail which is the longer way but he he has a better chance of hiding the the five ball and the cue ball kicking that way he just missed it and if that temple stops in front of the pocket oh oh absolutely He's gonna go for it. he doesn't have to open up the eight nine no more he can shoot the five ten combo this is to get on the hill yeah well did play a good safety shot though the five. Gotta say, a little bit unlucky for Shane to oh leave absolutely. the ten in front of the side pocket. Yeah, you know, the, the luck has been with uh, Kuo Kwang on this second set, for sure. Because even with a few mistakes he made, he still won the kill in the second set. Yeah, this second set has not been Shane's greatest sets either. Like he has had some opportunities where he didn't really get through. Yeah, he was so uh, totally leading the first set and then things change in the second set. And that's the good thing about that format. It's like momentum changed and now Shane is not, can't get going really. Yeah. He is getting cold in his chair if Gorg Hung is keeps playing safeties like he just played. Yeah, and also you notice that well, it's been Gorg Hung's break uh, the, pretty much the whole set, and his the layouts have been very close, not like open table when Shay can just run out. And maybe this is Gorg uh, Hung's. He has better chance of winning that way. Not letting Shane just run out, has to play more, a more strategic game. And now again, some cluster of balls, but this time next to the top uh, corner pocket. Yeah, I don't think Shane can really hit it thick enough to be able to bank it to that corner. Yeah. All the balls are on the right side of the table. Is he going to play this soft? No short and is he leaving that one ball behind the four yeah. yeah he of course had four balls to get behind with the one yeah on a on a not that new cloth i guess the spin would, would have grabbed more and maybe he could have just spin the the one ball in the corner but uh, in this case it doesn't grab at all and well, it looked Hi. like Kwok Hang was going for the two rails. We'll have to play this with some speed though, because if he plays it soft, he might get trapped behind the five, seven or nine. Yeah, I think... I think he's favorite to, to make it or leave a safety from that position. Oh. There is a chance for Shane van Boning, but for sure not an easy one. Yeah, and then he has that big cluster of balls. He has to uh, 
uh, managed to get position on the two ball first. Which he didn't really do. I mean, he could still make that ball, of course, and hold it for the three ball. Yeah, on the long run, he needs to do something with that 5-7. Shot on the two. Nice contact with the eight ball. Left him perfect for the three balls because he saw that he can play the four ball in the opposite corner. And then then maybe he can maybe even try to get position for the five ball for the same corner pocket as uh, the one he made the four ball. Yeah. He yeah. leaves himself a good angle here. I think he can get to the short side of the five. Looks like it goes. But then after, you'll have to do something with the 7. Yeah, so 7 9 is makeable. No. He would just. As long as he, he can leave himself a good angle on the 6 ball, he can play the 6 9 combo, I think. Or is he or going maybe, to bump something out yeah. now and take a longer 6? He, he has that angle. Oh. Well, he's made the 9 and that's quite on the rail on this 6. He, he just risked it there to to leave a long shot on the six box. He knows he will always get position on the seven. Now he just has to make that shot. Yeah, just one good shot. You might have to think about stunning the cue ball here, stun left, just to get off a diamond, get a little bit closer, and because then he's okay. If he plays this just to float it in, then he will have a similar tough shot on the seven. Yeah, he's just looking at doing that, just draw the ball a little bit. <laughs> oh, and that cue ball? No. Uh, that was a bit, I guess, too much. He didn't really need to hit it at that speed. The, the pockets are not forgiving at all when you hit it that hard. That. Yeah, maybe a little that bit too wild there. Just to get and a good chance for That's Kwok a Kwong Dwok. It was such a hard shot from this table. Still. This is to win the second set. We'll be going to the decider. Deciding set. Yeah, and Kwok Kwong kind of got lucky again because Shane couldn't have just made the six ball, I think. You know, could have left himself. Uh, or seven ball, I th uh, but I think he was favored just to make the balls anyway. Yeah, so set number three is coming. Shane van Boning needs to step it up here. Oh yeah, he's... So we'll go for a short two minute break and then we'll be right back with the deciding set.
Welcome back everyone. Here we are. The Alpha Las Vegas Open quarterfinal. Shane Van Boning won the first set 4-1 as Guok Wong Duong. But then in the second set things were not really going his way and Guok Wong started to play better and better. And then he won the second set 4-1. So now it's time for the deciding set. It's still a race to four, but when we tie, if we tie three each, we'll go to a deciding shootout. Yes, do you want to see another shootout? <laughs> well, it could be a very interesting one between the both of these gentlemen. We have the Predator Arcos two balls, wrecked ready for Shane Van Boning to start the break when Guok Wang comes back. And I love the reflection from the Predator Arena lights in them. It's my favorite view. Oh, the lights are great. I really love the Predator lights. <laughs> little wave from the crowd. Come on guys, give us a little wave. No, now they're sad because Shane lost the second set for me. I, I, I would guess most of the people are Shane's fans, right? Yeah, I would say so, for sure. But... This match has been going pretty quick. We have to be honest, we have on the other TV table too, Chang Lin against Victor. And they just finished the first set and they are 1-1 on the second set. Yeah, it only took us 57 minutes to play 10 racks. Probably because the first set was so quick. Yeah, Shane that's true. Shane was, Shane was really fast. He was burning the cloth. So, Wok Wang back to the table, back to the arena, and Shane Van Boning ready to break. A little bit more to the outside yes. with the cue ball. Oh, another square hit, lost the cue ball a bit, and. Didn't make anything. Yeah, the head did lose the cue ball to that long rail. But as you say, it's still important to hit them to hard. And yeah, he was, it was like he was, he was cutting the one ball a little bit. Yeah. J just because his break is normally that good, I, I feel like he's, he gets really frustrated when he can't figure it out because <laughs> Because that's his probably his best weapon, right? Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's an early mistake here. Shane lucky to get back to the table. Yes, another miss from Kwang on the first ball. Still difficult to get on the three. We'll have to settle down for a long three ball like he's just looking at. I don't think there's any way to get really closer to the three. Yeah, he just needs a little bit of angle to go back for the four. Again, it's not an easy layout. Maybe got too far. No, I think he's, he's okay, yeah. And then after, he will have to play a good positional shot from the four to the five. Yes, because the five ball is not going to the left corner, left bottom corner. So, four rails. the cue ball go here as well so to the top left corner pocket if he can stop the cue ball he's guaranteed to have the six Cut on the six. 
will be guaranteed to have the seven ball after. Perfect on the seven ball. So draw shot, nope. Played the other way and expect him to shoot the nine ball in the top left corner. Could also choose to go to the short side, but it would make it unnecessarily difficult. So Shane is back on track now. And Shane Van Boning draws first blood here in this third set. Nice run out, was definitely not an easy one. After that unexpected miss from Kwak Wong. Yeah, you don't really get too many easy layouts in this format. That's an interesting part too. Yeah, he's already thinking, okay, where am I gonna break from now? What am I gonna do? You can just, you see it on his yeah, face. he's trying to figure it out. Two ball on the point, maybe the seven Almost. ball. Got the maybe ball. the seven ball. <laughs> no. He was kind of but actually lucky that he didn't <laughs> he didn't make that seven ball. Yeah. Yeah, and that two ball saves the day for Shane Van Boning. Okay, it came off the point, but got in between the cue ball and the one. Yeah, you can see that seven ball on the edge. Didn't take much more to drop. Difficult push out. Yes, the, the one ball is around mm, many balls, so it will be easy to play safety from pretty much anywhere. You're no. just gonna push to, to jump. A, yeah. He could jump it the way to where he's banking the one ball three rails out and stop the cue ball there. Yeah, and the three four. Cutting. Yes, that's one option. Another one is just to try to cut it in. Definitely another option. A little bit more difficult, yeah. of course. Cue ball will have more air. Could jump off the table. He's called the one ball, he's going all in here. Yeah. Overcut it and sure cannot <laughs> complain about the outcome. Oh yeah, the cue ball almost <coughs> got off the table. But look at the elevation. <laughs> and that's why he didn't really make good contact with the one ball. Too bouncy. other table it looks like Victor Zielinski has won the first set and is now up 2-1 over Chang Yun Lin so we could have him back in the semi-finals after winning last year it's quite the streak yeah it seems like he, he likes Vegas a lot <laughs> <laughs> so Shane tried to stick the cue behind the six and has he left that combo I think I think he did because he yeah, looked a little disappointed there yeah for sure he can go rail first. And 
Yeah, that seven, that seven ball there was always going to be dangerous. Yeah, it's there and still needs one good shot to get on the two ball. Two ball, three ball, and then then it's all kind of routine out. Oh, well, that definitely works. That angle is exactly the angle he needs to get to the three, so nice little bump. Yeah, not the way he planned it, but uh, he raised his hand for apology. And uh, he tried, he tried to to just bump the five ball, the four ball, sorry, but uh, now he's off angle again. Yeah, you can cut it to both pockets, but he's going for a corner. Yeah, it's a bigger pocket, shooting yeah, it to that absolutely. corner, of course. And he let it good, pretty much straight on the four ball. shouldn't have any more issues now unless he somehow creates one but uh, yeah that's yeah he's pretty much he's really good out. in line here perfect on the five Stun for the nine in the same side. Yeah. Might be able he to follow angle. too. He has the angle. Getting closer to that three three in the third set. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I was surprised Chang Ruling beat filler in the shootout on the TV table because Chai was having last time when we talked in Michigan he said that he, like with the shot clock on the for the shootout on the TV table he's been struggling because you know he's very slow especially when playing the shootout wow. and I've seen him in the outside tables he take once he was taking like uh, maybe 50 seconds per shot or so so then he was really struggling on the TV table so I was surprised Jeffrey is the fastest player. Yeah, we might be ready for a shootout here. From here, make one mistake, you might lose a match. Yes, although... That was only in the first set we saw that since then it was all we didn't really see many straight runouts cause especially because they are making balls on the break and normally there are many clusters and see now. Yeah, if he could have hit the one a little bit more head on. I think that one ball was getting pretty close to that side pocket. Now, the one ball for sure goes off the seven ball in case yeah, you cannot yeah, hit seven, it full. The seven helps there a lot. Oh, he might Looks be able like to he make can it. can see it. Yeah. And if he can get in between the five and the side pocket and get close to the two. Close to the rail. Would have been nice to get a little closer to the two ball so you can get maybe some more yeah. spin to get to go to the three. Yeah, he hit it hard, but the rails are not that bouncy uh, here. Not as bouncy and as uh, 
in previous tournaments for I found. Yeah. Which is a good thing, right? Yeah, you just have to adapt it. Yeah. <laughs> if you expect yeah. them to be bouncing there. Yeah, I usually am not a big fan of when the tables start to bounce that much, like yeah, really at least crazy. You can, you can control better the the balls when they're when you can yeah, with the, they don't bounce like crazy. <laughs> He's playing the 3 7 combination here. Oh, he's hit the wrong side of the mm. 7, and yep. I think he's got lucky here. Yeah. He was probably focusing on, on leaving good cue ball after that combo. Yeah, just a little he bit. Wanted, he, he just wanted to avoid the 8 ball, I think, the cue ball, so he kind of was probably got distracted by that. Looks like Kwok Hong can see a little edge from the three. He could put the three underneath the nine and get the cue ball three rails, maybe use the four as well. Yeah, he may try to hide both the outer ball and the cue ball, and that, that would be perfect for him. Yeah, just like that, it's a good shot. Yeah, he left, he left an easy one rail kick, maybe shanking. Just, just uh, stick the cue ball behind the, the nine. Leave it where the tree ball is. Okay. He called the referee to watch the shot. Good um, yeah. Because he, he actually played the tree ball in the corner. He's left yeah. it on. It was it was very risky though. It's far away from the rail for that shot. Yeah, it was actually it was tough to overcut the three ball. It was yeah. a lot easier to hit it thick and yeah. And maybe I mean it's actually I think it's a better option to hit it thick. Although the nine ball is there, but normally if you hit it thick, you can get get away with it and leave. Uh, Leave the tree ball back on the same spot. If you yeah. if you hit it thin, you normally sell out. Yeah, so Galil on the rail on this four. Is he able to miss the six? Oh, he just missed the six. Look at this for a shot. Yeah, he's still uh, not in line though. Has to has to work it out. Yeah, a little straight on the five. He tried to cheat the bucket and get a little bit out of the rail. Is he drawing oh. all the Power way back? Draw and is he gonna get there? Is he not gonna get behind the 10? Oh, uh, yeah. Too much spin on that shot, I think. It was he should have focused more on the draw. And yeah, at least get the cue ball up yeah. and then, yeah. Yeah, because it's on a, a I know on a old clothes that would have worked of course because he grabs the spin but not here so three rails here oh, two rails and looks like he'll be having a good result oh, wow <laughs> yeah apologized and shame it's like tapping his cue like okay what am i gonna do here yeah how well, how many times did he get lucky though he missed the the jump shot on the one ball got lucky again <laughs> now here well there is a good safety shot here has to kick the left side of the six good speed and that cue ball could really crawl behind the seven yeah absolutely i mean shane can do anything about uh quark one's luck anyways yeah. i mean i don't really get frustrated when someone's lucky because that's the game right you you're still on the table. Oh, this like is that. fabulous. <laughs> Such a great shot from Shane Van Boning. As long as you're on the table, you can still do something. You can create an opportunity for okay. yourself. What is he going to do here? Looks like he's going to hit the long rail and curve shot. back. Trick shot here. <laughs> Oh. oh, that was unlucky. Huh? Good try. Yeah, I managed to hit the six, but yeah. Yeah, then also the cue ball 
slipped away from him. Kraut was really living it up there. <laughs> yeah, it's a very interesting match, actually. You know, it's not... That's much more interesting than just seeing the players run out all the time. This is just a break. Shane van Boning needed. It's a little soft. Cue on the rail. This is for a 2 1 lead. Yeah, that's normally kind of like the worst spot. <laughs> Uh, to land having these two balls left. But he's making it. Yeah, not for Shane Van Bonen. He's up 2 1. He needs a good break. If he can get a good break, break a run out, that would mean he would guarantee himself being in the shootout. Yeah, oh. Or maybe he, more. He would love to make a ball on the break out there. That I don't think. I don't think I've seen him make a ball on the break yet. Has he? Maybe once or twice, but this match he hasn't been getting the results on the break. But I think, let's say in this tournament, he lost the first round and he went through the loser side all the way to get here. In most of the matches, I'm sure he made balls on the break because with such a quality oh break. Yeah. That's just going to happen. It depends on the table, the referee, and look, now he's changing. Now he's breaking from the side. Give me a yeah, try. The first time I <laughs> see it. Oh, oh no. <laughs> That's just too brutal. That's cool. The first. <laughs> I can't believe that ball I mean kicked the cue ball in like perfect that. Perfect cue ball control. Look at that yeah. cue ball and the one. One ball straight and cue ball stopped right there and wow. With that speed he just the five ball just kicked the cue ball and that was so unlucky. It was a great break. Well at least now he knows where to break from. <laughs> he creates so much power on that break. Just amazing. Oh. oh. Well, <laughs> pure drama here. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's so un entertaining. How did that bow even drop? Tension is really, really starting to get there in the arena. Oh yeah, well, that match is to get to the semi-finals, so you can, <laughs> you know, that's it's an important one. Oh, well, he's got glue to the rail here. On the rail. Of course, he can still get position on the eight, but he's got to play the seven really slow. Can yeah. I really punch the cue ball and then get a tough cut on the eight again? Yeah, you never really want to play it slow when the cue ball is on the rail, but I guess he doesn't really have too, too many options. Oh, he's going jacked up. Course. Good. Yeah, or you just play jacked up. <laughs> yeah, if he feels more comfortable. Many, many players just don't feel comfortable slow, slow rolling the ball. Because, especially from the rail, you need you need a solid hit. I mean, Shane actually Shane likes to slow roll the balls from the rail as he is very confident with that shot. So it, it's also personal preference. So he's really straight on that nine ball. 
yeah. might have to play with draw. Everything he's gonna do with topspin is probably gonna curve back up instead of really Yeah, and he, down. he wouldn't really grab the inside spin if he plays it like that. He would just oh, that play doesn't... For the short side okay, it slowed down. <laughs> I thought he hit it way too hard in the beginning, but it's perfect. Istanbul to level the score to each. We're getting slowly, slowly one step closer to that shootout. Yeah, a few dangerous situations, but uh, Kuo Huang managed to get the rock. Yeah, so unlucky for Shape and Boning to scratch on that break. That's yeah. maybe one in one in a hundred, maybe a hu one in a hundred fifty breaks, something like this happens. It is, yeah. He doesn't look happy, but it's still his body language is uh, most of the time. Is not very positive. If there is something which bothers him, so he doesn't really try to to make well, it better. Well, he shows that, but on on the other side, he also shows that he's kind of calm in his chair. Like he's not really pouting or like mad. Like he does stay calm. He just looks like he's a little annoyed with the game. Yeah, he looks annoyed most of the time. I noticed that. <laughs> but I guess that's just the way he he handles it. He still play, plays great, so if it doesn't affect him, then he can do it. <laughs> Look at that. Finally gets a shot on the one, and then the two nine locks up. Uh, and Luckily, he's close to, to that two nine. He may try to open them now. Yeah, I think he can play a good bump on the two nine, and then still has to do something with the seven. I don't think that seven ball goes past the eight. Yeah, that's what I'm not sure about. It may go. It may From that go, angle, yeah. it looks like it may go. Match the five ball. Left a shot. It's not an easy one, but uh, he has a shot. Yeah, it's most likely to get on something for the three ball. Yeah, the three ball is quite open. A little thin, yeah, and it's very tricky when you play that slow speed with spin on on the slippery table. It it deflects more than what you would expect, and I find that even harder with the carbon shaft because for for these touchy shots, you know, you you can't really get it that soft sometimes. Oh, that cue ball. He's ending up quite okay. I thought he was close to the scratch, but then yes. it wasn't that bad. And now the big question is, does that seven ball go from this view? I don't think that seven ball goes, unless you want to cheat the pocket, but it does look a little scary to me. Oh yeah, I don't know about that. Victor now is only three balls away from getting to semi-final again would be a big win for the young Polish superstar. Mm -hmm. You know what, Kokwans has, has a tricky angle here. Just to be careful with, with that side pocket. Unless he goes forward, yeah, three rails. Oh, okay, he did he a little firm. He's gonna be okay. Hit. Yeah, Victor won the second set. Oh, that's a great win against Chang Ling. Because Chang is playing very well. Yeah, so we'll already have one semi finalist, Victor Zielinski, the defending champion. And shortly, we will know his opponent in the semi final, as it's the winner from this match, as far as I believe. If the seven ball doesn't go, he might go for the six ten combination. No, he did not do that.
looks like he's playing to get on the seven ball. So it must go. Hmm. Would have been much easier if he was straight on the seven. Yeah, it makes a big difference. Now he's got to hold the cue ball, so it's a little touchy stroke. Yeah. And <laughs> needs the accuracy to cheat the pocket. Absolutely. If he was straight, he could have, even if even if he had missed the seven ball, at least he didn't. He would have left his kind of safety. Uh, now he just he would just say, well, "Oh, beautiful he shot! It. Great shot, yeah." Oh, and this great control. That shot is going to guarantee him to get at least to a shootout. And maybe beat Shane Van Boning. Yeah, he would be the first player to go on the hill. Which... Did you expect that? Considering the, the mistakes he made in the, in the previous rocks and... Well, I didn't expect it. But then also I think Shane got quite unlucky. And that's kind of what is pushing... Yeah, Kwok Hong now to the hill. Absolutely, there's been Shane got unlucky. Kwok Hong got very lucky. He had a few rolls. Nothing you can do about that. Oh, and he's on the hill. Kwok Hong is up 3-2 in this deciding set. It's only a race to four, and if we go three each, we got the famous shootout. focus his chair he he doesn't really joke around when he's around the table Shane no no he's, he's all business always yeah not like the Filipinos they're all having fun jumping <laughs> smiling. around smiling talking doesn't everything. matter if they miss or, or they lose or whatever they are always happy he's very serious Hoping he gets another chance after that unlucky break. Oh, he did miss that two ball in the previous rock. Well, perfect cue ball on the break, makes a three, and he's got a shot on the one. Yeah, very thin cut, but he's got it. And then for the first time in a while, the table looks quite open. Just wondering that the four ball does look like it goes, so you can cut the one, you can play two rails for the two in the side, and it doesn't really look too tough after. Perfect on the two ball, yeah. It always happens when you're on the hill, either you have a perfect break or you scratch. <laughs> yeah. Eight, nine, ten are all close to each other, so if he can get a nice angle on the six to maybe get nice on the seven. Seven is not in front of the pocket, it's still glued to the rail, so would get a little ugly if you get straight on the seven. It's not ideal. Yeah, of course. You, you want some mango on the seven. Two rails position here. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, very good Kwok Hang. Yeah, just a little bit straighter than what he wanted to. He should be all right here. Well, it's not the perfect position. <laughs> He's again on the rail. So it's, if something goes wrong, it may be here. But 
so I can stun the cue ball over. Yeah. To, oh, he even held the cue he ball. He couldn't even have hold it. Yeah, he's perfect on this, and I don't really see this going wrong. What are the nerves doing? So he beats Shane again, you say? I think so, yeah. Number? So, Rock Wong Duong from Vietnam beats Shane Van Boning 2 1 in sets and advances to the semi final tomorrow against Viktor Zielinski. Oh, it was a very exciting match. Yeah, great match. And in the commentary booth for this match were Christina Tsateva and myself, Tim de Ruiter. Thank you, Christina. Thank you, Tim. And we hope to see you at 9 p.m. for our next quarterfinals. Thank you.